All right, welcome back to another episode. This is Mike Perkins, aka Man Bun Mike, aka Michael B. Podden, aka Me So Corny. Uh, one half of MVP, one half of Mike and Vince Perkins, and one half of Opinions Are Like Podcast. And for this here, I am the whole show. Um, you see the thumbnail, you see the title. Um, sometimes I speak, and you know, I'm in you know, company of guys who you know who this space would consider simps and you know we see a lot of the uh the detractors that speak on the space um that have kind of this uh they have a theme you know they use the women as a north star and you know women are their their moral north star women are the the kind of you know, they're the bar to them. And you can kind of see it with your ace metaphors and your, you know, your, your Derrick Jackson type guys. And uh, I always wonder why they talk the way that they talk, but they live their lives kind of different. And if you notice a lot of the guys who really speak this, you know, we need to praise our women and treat our women like queens and things of that nature. They have the guilt, you know? They have the I did a woman wrong guilt. They have a I cheated on a woman guilt. They have the I may have been physically or verbally, emotionally abusive guilt. They have the guilt though. Like the guilt of I did a black woman wrong and now I have to make it up because I've done so much wrong to where they swing the pendulum so far the other way to where it's the simpery. You know, and (laughs) excuse me, I always notice that when I talk, I just don't have that guilt. You know, I don't have that. I did a woman wrong. You know, hi, my name is Michael Perkins. I'm a divorcee. I didn't cheat and beat on my my ex-wife. You know, didn't cheat on her, didn't beat on her, didn't treat her bad. You know, actually, I mean, like for the most part, I did everything that you do in a marriage, you know, didn't work out you know unfortunately but you know I provided protected led you know I enjoy being a husband you know I say it out loud a lot you know I mean just kind of let people know like it wasn't like I hated the 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 position you know I enjoy being a husband and a father you know in that order you know I I I did the things that you do um you know date nights and 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 consideration and, and appreciation and and you know go tell your mama that the food was good and did, did you tell your mama did I did all that stuff you know I, I you know I, I, I definitely you know was providing you know for the most part you know my, my money was the money you know definitely was leading most of the big decisions you know were mostly me you know and then you know I collaborate with her you know what I'm saying she needs to be included but like I enjoy being a husband it was very fulfilling it was uh yeah, I love the responsibility and the nobility of the position. You know, I mean, not many benefits, obviously. I mean, you get a woman, but not many benefits. You know, it's just really just work. And look, I, again, no complaints. You know what I mean? You know, if it had a Yelp review, I'd say being a husband was pretty okay. You know, I, gi- I give it three and a half, four stars. <laughs> you know, being a husband is okay. I don't have the guilt, though. So when I speak especially to women, black women, women just in general, I never speak as if I have the guilt. And most women are used to talking to dudes that have the guilt. And if you listen to a lot of these women talk, you can listen to them and kind of get that they are used to talking to men who have the guilt. You know? And I think that in this space, you don't have a bunch of guys that have the guilt. You have a bunch of guys, like I was listening to Bernard's show, uh, just, uh, the other day and it was called uh i'll probably put the description put it in the description uh, but it was called uh just blame the manosphere for any you know it, when all us fellas blame the manosphere you know when he was going through like the kind of guys that we meet in this space you know said myself christian hutchison even you know even him you know like a lot of us are in tech a lot of us are in it a lot of us have jobs and careers a lot of us are married we're married you know you know, have kids, whatever. Like a lot of us just have regular lives, 
and you know and, and on this side because you know there's a certain morality you know that has to be had and there's a certain integrity that you have to have because <clears throat> you know essentially still sharp and still so a lot of times the way that we operate i'm not saying anybody's perfect but we operate in an integral you know in a real way like it, it's a very very like you couldn't be in this space and be jobless for example like eventually it's just like well dude you know fix that part you know you couldn't be a guy with 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 you know uh you know criminal past that includes hidden women or something like that like you know not to say that people are gonna be like you're not a part of the space but like dudes wouldn't fuck with you you know we don't have the guilt <sighs> over here so then when we speak we speak matter of factly we treat women like people like adults like sovereign individuals who make bad decisions at times you know i mean you know refer to my the video before last if you want to hear what kind of bad decisions they make raw dog jamal and dirty dick rodney are their favorites um you call it out you call it out you know but the actual title of this is the innocent guilt or the guilt of the innocent you know and i think a lot of us deal with that because we have this picture of what our mom went through you know you know it's the dear mama syndrome whereas there's no way in the world that mama could have did anything wrong kind of deal and we're trying to like make up for what our mom doesn't have you know make up for you know her not necessarily picking the right man and our father and I'm not saying this about my father I'm just saying just niggas in general you know and a lot of us, we believe that somehow if we treat all women right, it makes up for something. And you can tell. Because like, like the first thing, like the yo mama black thing work on niggas. It's, again, it's like the figure four leg lock. Yo mama black. So you want somebody treating your mama like that? You know, it's just like, nah, I wouldn't want nobody treat my mama like that. But she my mama. You hoes ain't my mama. And a lot of women, a lot of dudes rather walk around like women are their mom. You know, and it's, it's the guilt of the innocent, like the guilt associated with innocent people that didn't do anything, you know? Like I used to be of that group, you know? Michael is only human, you know? I was in that group. I was in that group of dudes who just thought, you know, you treat women with respect even if they don't deserve it. You treat women, uh, you know, with some kind of reverence and, 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 and you know, you give them, you know, all of this you know, adoration and things of that nature for what? I don't know. You know, especially the ones that don't deserve it. You know? And it wasn't until, you know, I was introduced to some of the ideals and concepts of the space to where I can just say, oh, like, they're people. You know? I don't want to treat them poorly, but I don't want to give my respect and my honor to women who are certainly not worthy of that. You know, and so that like even with the guy that accused me of SBE, it's I would argue that maybe 10 percent of men overall are even aware of what's going on. And half of those guys don't even execute it. So we're talking maybe five and maybe I'm a part of the dudes who know, but just don't execute it. I don't know. I think I I do it. I job. But like, you know, some days, man, it's tough, you know, um, But most guys are not even hip to the guilt, you know, the guilt of the innocent, the guy who went to school, the guy who, you know, who who got his life right, the guy who has no criminal record, don't even have speeding tickets, the guy who's doing everything right, who's staying out of trouble, doesn't treat women poorly, you know, that guy, which is most of us, that guy has the guilt, he has to walk around with the guilt and he doesn't have a way to kind of walk around and represent himself like, hey, I didn't do nothing to you bitches. I did nothing to you bitches. So now all of a sudden, I have to treat you like you've never, you know, like you're not flawed. I have to treat you like you're floating on fucking air because my mama black. That's literally what it's about. Like, it's literally just that. Like, if you hear these women, they don't have any concept of reality. They don't have any concept of uh, qualifying for. 
they just believe they should be treated a certain way just because and they've been using that move for the better part of 40 50 years so that what this content is about and what this space is about is making men aware because like the only reason that i was ever upset you know when i was upset was when i couldn't call what was happening now man i you know like i mean you know red pill you know matrix i feel like i i literally feel like i can predict everything that a woman is gonna say the guilt trip they gonna run the shaming tactics they're gonna run the bullying tactics you know the 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 the, the insults you know the the the, 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 the sign language shame insults guilt and the need to be right i can just predict it it's almost like i don't even have to dodge bullets anymore you know and it's the guilt of the innocent because more dudes more often not especially in the black community are walking around thinking that if you treat a woman right then she'll just act right which that premise is you know obviously flawed because it, it suggests that there's no such thing as a black as a bad woman you know, every woman is salvageable. That's not true. You know, and so that these guys who walk around with the guilt, who say, "Well, if you were just the the the, the, the right guy, then she'd be the right woman," they they don't they're missing it. And that's why this space is so necessary. That's why the content is so necessary. Because too many dudes walk around with the guilt. You know. And they're already thinking dudes ain't shit because somehow every dude cheats. Somehow every dude is a deadbeat dad. And somehow every dude is just these horrible people. Every black man is just horrible. You know, every black man is jobless. Every black man ain't got no money, can't pay no bills. A lot of this stuff is just really, it's just really just overkill. But when you have a space where as men can come to it and kind of redirect that energy to saying, hey, here's the truth it's necessary like it's just necessary so that men don't walk around innocent men don't walk around with the guilt because i don't need innocent men walking around with the guilt now if you didn't cheated and, and lied and, and and stole and did all the things that these women be claiming then you know you need to you know repent and you probably need to do some work to, to, to better yourself but for the most of us that just didn't do any of that hey man i don't need to be walking around being convicted of something that somebody else did I'm innocent. I'm innocent. You know, I'm not inherently an abusive guy because your last nigga beat you. You know, I'm not a cheater because your uh, your last nigga couldn't keep it in his pants. You know, I'm not broke because the last nigga you was with didn't have a, a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. You know, and we don't need to pay the bill for the other nigga who ran, it, ran the fucking tab up. He ran the tab up. This is Dirty Dick Rodney. This is not my bill. Go to Dirty Dick Rodney and tell him pay his bill. Go to Raw Dog Jamal and have him pay his bill. I'm not paying that shit. So that the guys who are the innocent, who walk around with the guilt, it's okay to let that guilt go. Because what's happening to you is, is that you're making bad decisions in the name of the black woman is God. You know? But that's my time, man. I appreciate, you know what I'm saying, everybody, you know, if you could share, like, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, comments are always necessary. I mean, I don't get a lot, like a lot of comments, so I always engage with any of the uh, the people that are in the comment section. So just keep doing that. Keep supporting me. I'll try to keep kicking these out. This is Mike Perkins, and I'm out.